I've always been a, an eclectic reader and watcher. You know, I've consumed everything that comes along. And to, to talk about specific influences is, is kind of difficult um, because of that, that huge range of things that have influenced me. Um, I, it's, it's been more people who have, who have changed the way in which I've seen things. And there's a sort of this, a fantastic line of teachers um, and, and colleagues who have, have had a, a, an, a, an immense influence upon me. I mean, as I've said um, publicly many times, Billy Williams was probably, well, no, there's no doubt, he is the person who changed my life forever. I did a, a seminar with him in um, Rockport, Maine. Uh, at the time, I was a documentary cameraman. By the end of that week, I knew that I wanted to be a feature film cinematographer. And from that point on, I sort of, for the first time in my life, discovered ambition. And, um, and, and it, you know, moves me in a completely different direction. And once I started moving in that direction, I started looking, actually, for the first time at films. And, and with, with true wonder, looking at the works of, of Gordon Willis, um, looking at the works of, of you know, Freddie Francis, looking at uh, the works of Vilma Sigmund, um, and then more contemporary, looking at the works of Barry Aykroyd, and, you know, the, all of those people I have um, I've stolen things from, and quite blatantly, um, the things that I thought that worked. And that that's hardly even begins to, 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 to really cover all the people who I've stolen things from and whose work I admire. Um, and, and it goes on. I mean, it is a constant process. Um, I'm in awe right now of, of the works of, of Hoyte von Hoytema and Adam Arkepau. There are and uh, just a constant stream of cinematographers moving you know, into and through the industry. And I find that it's, it's incredibly exciting and very inspirational uh, to look at other people's work and, and to get so much from it.